use this great bit of software from a company called Nuance called Dragon for the Mac. And I use it all the time. It allows me to dictate blog posts in a fraction of the time that it would take me to type them. It's an invaluable part of my workflow. So you can imagine how frustrated I was when one day it stopped working. But, you know, simple I thought. I'll just reinstall the app, that'll sort it. So I uninstalled Dragon from, uh, for the Mac from my computer and then I went to the Nuance website to download it again. But that was where things started to go wrong. But hey, this is not some rant about Nuance. I like Nuance and I love their products. No, this is a post about the lessons that we can learn from the mistakes that I saw in my experience of interacting with them. Mistakes that, to be honest, we all make. It's not just them. Lesson number one is that we often have very unrealistic expectations of our users. We expect them to remember things like passwords, usernames, order numbers, and all manner of information. We think this because we believe that users care about our products. After all, we passionately care about them. But the truth is, they don't. Not so much. Nuance made this mistake when I went to their website. Now, when I originally purchased the product, I downloaded the software and I'd saved my license code because I knew I'd need that later. But after that, I thought I was pretty much done with my interaction with them. When I discovered that to re-download their product, I had to provide an order number and a password, well, then I was stumped. I hadn't kept that information. Fortunately, after much swearing and searching through old emails, I did manage to find some login information. And there it was, the download dragon dictate button. I was victorious. I had succeeded in my task. Or was I? Had I? I clicked the download link and received an error message. It was telling me that I wasn't allowed to download this software, that it had expired the link. What? What do you mean the download link has expired? I was utterly confused. I paid money for Dragon and now they were telling me that I wasn't allowed the product that I bought. One obvious problem was the unhelpful message. It left me with so many questions. Obvious questions that Nuance could have addressed on that page. They failed to communicate the problem and I was left, well, angry really. Angry that I couldn't access the product that I paid money for. After much digging around, I discovered that the download link was only available for five days after you purchased the product. Nuance had told me this. It was part of their checkout process and it was also in the email that they sent alongside my original download. But I missed this key piece of information. Now, looking back, I could see why I'd missed it. The key information was, well, buried. It was not upfront and central in the communication. You see, communication is the key to a successful relationship with users. We need to invest significant time in getting our key messages right if we're going to keep users happy. This is especially true when your behavior is not in line with the user's expectation. Of course, it wouldn't have mattered that this fact wasn't communicated well if it had been in line with my expectations, but it wasn't. I'd never encountered a company that sold a digital product and then didn't allow you to go back later and re-download it. I discovered that Nuance did provide this um, option, but only if you were willing to pay an extra fee. And that only served to make me even more angry. I felt like they were preying off of my mistake. The mistake that had been caused by their poor communication. You see, your digital service doesn't exist in a vacuum. Your users judge it based on previous experiences, and I've never seen this policy before, and so it struck me as unfair and even manipulative. Of course, in truth, Nuance had done nothing wrong. It's their product, and they can sell it in any way they want. But it was my perception that was the problem, and I just went away feeling resentful and angry. I didn't feel like they cared about me or my needs. The whole experience left me with one overriding impression, which was that Nuance didn't care. Even in my email correspondence with them, I got nothing back but stock replies. This despite the fact that I wrote a very personalized and unique email in order to get a good response from them. 
The error messages and difficulties in downloading their products screamed that they didn't really care about the user. Of course, that might be untrue, but that was the impression that they gave. On the surface, fixing these issues looks like a no-brainer. Surely somebody at Nuance considered this kind of stuff. But things aren't that simple. Now, I don't know Nuance, but I can make an educated guess about why this problem exists with their product. First, they're a pre-web company. This is a company that was used to shipping disks on, um, when it came to delivering software. The chances are they've built their company around that way of working and digital downloads don't fit in with that model and so they've kind of bolted it onto the side of their existing structure which has resulted in less than desirable results. And this is something I see a lot of people doing, taking digital and bolting it onto the side of their existing structure. Second, they don't seem to have a culture of user experience. From their website to the app itself, it's full of rough edges. Like many of our organizations, they appear to have too much of an internal focus. They push customers down a sales funnel and force them to conform to their way of working. And if the customer's experience doesn't conform to the process, as in my case, the whole experience then collapses. But let's not sit and condemn nuance. As the saying goes, let him without sin cast the first stone. The truth is that when it comes to user experience design, we're all sinners. We all are too focused on our own agendas to worry about the user experience. And that's especially true when the user faces challenges with our products or services.